Another example, determine the domain and the range of the fun following. Assume that the entire function is shown. So first, you're going to know is to find the point. So we have the point here. What point it is? It is what is ordered where it is. So we have the negative 2 and 2. How about the second one? So we have positive 2 and 2. two. Identify the domain and the range. So, you must know all the ordered pair that correspond in the given. So, let us now list all the ordered pairs. So, we have negative 2 and 2. We also have here neg uh, 0, negative 1. 0, negative 1. Then, last we have the point 2 and 2. So, this will be the li list of all ordered pair that we have. Now, let us have the domain. So, let x be the domain and y be the range. So, if x is the domain, so our x is the greatest is 2, right? We have the domain list of number domain we have the first element all element in the first term will be the domain so we have negative 2 0 and positive 2 how about the range our range is 2 negative 1 and another 2 so because it is same 2 just cross it out. Now, our x or the domain is greater than it, it is less than 2. x will be less than or equal to 2. So, therefore, the 2 is the maximum number of the given domain or the value of x. And the smaller, so the smaller is negative 2. So, this will be the domain. How about the range? So, we have y. So, we have the 2, so this will be the maximum number value of range y and the is negative 1. So this will be the domain and the range of the given example. Let us have another one. So, first we're going to list all the coordinate point or the ordered pair. So, let us have the list. So, first we have an ordered pair of 3 and Positive 3. 3 and 3. Then another one. The graph is intersect in our or origin. So we have 0, 0. Another ordered pair. We have the 
negative 3 and negative 3. So, negative 3, negative 3. So, this will be the list of our, our ordered pair. Now, let x be the domain. And what are the domain of the given order pair? We have first 3, 0, and negative 3. How about the y or the range? So we have 3, 0, and negative 3. Then let us have the domain. So x will be the domain. So we have the positive 3. So the maximum value of x is 3 and the minimum value is negative 3. How about the range? The range is the maxim maximum number of the value of range is 3 and the minimum value is negative 3. Why we're going to use a great less than or equal and greater than or equal? Why do we have an equal sign? Because negative 3 is also a value of our domain and the range because it is passes but in our given graph and last let us have this one so now let us have the list of ordered pair so first we have the point 3 and negative 3 and zero another point the graph is because it is curved line so the line is point passes to the point negative two and two so we have negative two and two then it is passes also in our origin zero zero also we have the point passes to the point positive 2 and negative 2 so we have positive 2 and negative 2 and another one we have the last one point we have 3 and 0 now let x be the domain and determine all the domain in the given ordered pair so we have negative 3, negative 2, 0, 2, and 3. Again, the domain are the numbers in the first term. Then let us have the range. So the range is the number all in the second term. So this will be 0, 2, 0 and we have also negative 2 again 0 so now let us have the value of all domain and the range so first we have the domain so what is the maximum number of the domain we have 3 and the minimum value of domain we have <coughs> negative 2 or negative 3 it is negative 3 how about the range so the maximum number is 2 and the minimum value of range is negative 2 so this will be the domain and the range of the given example so that's all for today Again, we have a function.